Welcome to AccuWeb Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to set up MailFetcher to receive email from other accounts in Gmail. Before we begin, take a look at AccuWebHosting.com to review various hosting services offered by us. You can contact us through chat, phone, or send us an email at sales at AccuWebHosting.com. Let's begin the tutorial. Click on the Settings Gears option located on the upper right side of the screen. After then select the Settings option from the drop-down list and click on it. Once you click on it, one window will be open. Click on the Accounts and Import link located under the Settings section. Scroll down the screen and select Check Mail from Other Accounts section. Click on the link Add a Mail Account. Once you click on it, one dialog box will be opened with the name Add a Mail Account. In the field of the email address, enter the email address of which you want to receive emails in your Gmail account. Here, we have used Nick at DemoVPSTest.com as an example. After then click on the Next button. Here, you will get two options. The first one is Link Accounts with Gmailify. And the second one is Import Emails from My Other Account POP3. Select the Gmailify option if you want to use Gmail features such as spam protection, inbox organization, Google Now integrations, and more without changing your email address. Here, we can't select this option because it is not available for the email account which we are using. So, we will select the second option. Import emails from my other account POP3. After then click on the next button. Here, you have to enter the email settings for your email account such as Username, Password, POP Server, and the port number. In the Username field, you have to enter the email address which you want to fetch. Here, we have used Nick at DemoVPSTest.com as an example. Please be informed that email address and username should be the same. In the password field, enter the password of the above email address which you use to access it through webmail. In the pop server field, enter the incoming mail server of your email account. Here, we have used demovpstest.com as an example. In the port field, enter a POP3 port number. If you want to access the email account with Secure or you have purchased SSL certificate for your mail server then select 995 from the drop-down list. If you want to access the email account without Secure or you have not purchased SSL certificate for your mail service then select 110 from the drop-down list. Here, we will select port number 110 because we have not secured a mail server with an SSL certificate. If you still want to check the email of your account in other email clients on other computers, then select the checkbox, leave a copy of retrieved message on the server. Here, we have selected the checkbox because we want to keep the original message in the server. If you have secured your email account with SSL certificate and you want to use SSL to retrieve email then tick the checkbox Always use a secure connection SSL when retrieving mail. Here, we have unchecked it because we don't want to use SSL to retrieve email. You can also select to label incoming messages for your account with a special label, so you can tell which messages they are in your Gmail inbox. To do this, select the Label Incoming Messages checkbox and select a label from the drop-down list. You can also create a new label by clicking on the option New Label. Here, we will create a new label for our email account so we can easily differentiate it. 
Click on the new label option. Once you click on it, one dialog box will be opened. In the field, please enter a new label name. Enter a label name which you want to create. Here, we have entered demo VPS test as an example. After then click on the OK button to create it. You can see that it is selected for the email account. If you don't want the messages of your account in the inbox with your Gmail messages, you can select the checkbox Archive Incoming Messages Skip the Inbox to bypass the inbox and archive the messages immediately. Here, we have unchecked it because we don't want to bypass the email of our account from the inbox. After then click on the Add Account button. Once you click on it, you will get a message on the screen that your mail account has been added. If you want to set up Gmail to send email from your email address then select the checkbox Yes, I want to be able to send mail as. If you want to do it later then select No option. Here, we have selected the Yes option as an example. Click on the Next button. Here, you have to enter information about your email address. In the Name field, enter the name which you want to set. Here, we have used Nick R as an example. By default, the treat as an alias checkbox is selected. However, you have to turn it off. Click on the next step button. Here, you have to enter the SMTP details of your email account. In the SMTP server. Enter the SMTP server details of your email account. Here, we have used demovpstest.com. In the port field, enter the SMTP port number. If you want to send an email with secure OR you have purchased SSL certificate for your email service then select 465 in the port field. If you want to send an email without secure or you have not purchased SSL certificate for your email service then select 25 in the port field. You can also use 587 in the port field if you have enabled free SSL certificate such as Let's Encrypt or cPanel SSL certificate for your email service. Here, we have selected 587 in the port field. In the username field, enter the email address which you want to fetch. It should be the same which you had entered in the email setting section. Here, we have used nick at demovpstest.com because we have used it in the email settings section. In the password field, enter the password of the above email address which you use to access it through webmail. If you have installed free SSL certificate such as Let's Encrypt or cPanel SSL certificate on your email service then select the checkbox Secured Connection using TLS. Also, you have to select 587 in the port field. If you have installed SSL certificate on your email service then select the checkbox Secured Connection using SSL. Also, you have to select 465 in the port field. If you have not installed SSL certificate on your email service then you have to select the checkbox Unsecured Connection and make sure that you have to select 25 in the port field. Here, we have selected the checkbox Secured Connection using TLS as an example. In the port field, we have selected 587 in the port field. Click on the Add Account button. Once you click on it, the system will check the credential which you have entered. If all correct, you will get a message on the screen. Congratulations, we successfully located your other server and verified your credentials. Also, you can see that Gmail has sent a confirmation code on your email address to verify it. You can resend it by clicking on the resent email link if you didn't receive it. 
Here, you can see that we have received a confirmation email from the Google account. Here, you will get two options to verify your email address. The first one is by confirmation code and the second one is by link. You can use both methods to verify your email address. You can either click on the link to verify it. Or you can copy the confirmation code and paste it on the Gmail verification dialog box. Here, we will use the code method to verify the account. Copy the confirmation code. Paste it on the field. Enter and verify the confirmation code. Click on the verify button. Once you click on it, the dialog box the add another email address you own will close automatically. If you click on the link in the confirmation email, you have to close the dialog box manually by clicking on the close window link. Go to the Gmail settings window. Scroll down the screen. You can see that the email address is added to the check mail from other accounts section. It is also added to the send mail as section. Because we had chosen to be able to send mail from that address in Gmail. Under when replying to a message section. You can choose to reply from the same address was sent to. Or always reply from the default address, which is your current Gmail account. Also, you can change the from address when you compose your new message or reply. Email messages received for your email account display in your inbox unless you automatically archived them or moved them to a label whatever label you assigned to them. As you know that we had created a label with the name demo VPS test to differential the email from Gmail. Here, you can see that label in the email received from the Fetch email account. That's all. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We seen how to set up Mail Fetcher to receive email from other accounts in Gmail. Hope this video will be helpful for you. If you like this video, please click on the thumb button. Please click on subscribe button if you want to view such easy to understand technical videos published by AccuWebHosting.com. Thank you for watching.